Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Sylvie to yourself. In this video, I am going to share you how to cut and stitch this beautiful jumpsuit for 9 to 10 year baby girl. For that, I have taken a 2.5 meter printed cotton fabric and I am going to share you how to do the markings in it. To begin with, I am folding the fabric by half and width, 2 layers. So for one more time, I am going to fold it by half in width. Leave some half in space to draw a straight line. Firstly, I will cut the required length for the borders. So from this point, mark 12 inch. Extend these points. Now I'm going to cut it. So width of the fabric is 10.5 inch and the length is 12 inch. This is the folded side and this is open side. You will have four layers in it. Now from the folded side, mark 2.5 inch. Then from this point, mark 5.5 inch. Then extend these points. In my measurement, chest is 7.5 inch. Then mark 1.5 inch for seam allowance. So this is the chest measurement under the seam allowance. And for the waist, it is 6.5 inch. I am detecting 1 inch less than the chest measurement. And 1.5 inch for seam allowance. Join these points. From this point to here, draw a slight curve. So I am going to cut it. Starting from here, I will go this way and cut till the bottom. Now separate the front portion and the back portion. This is the back portion. Now fold it and trim at the center. This is the front portion and the back portion. Because for the back portion we are going to attach the zipper in it. Now I will show you how to fold the bottom. I have folded the bottom already by half in width. Here we have two layers in it. Now I am going to fold by half in length. So the required length for the bottom is 35 inch. So just mark it. Then cut it. So four layers and this is the folded side. Now place the bodice at the top of the bottom and mark the waist. Again from this point mark 10.5 inch. So from this point mark 10.5 inch. This is the crotch area. Extend these points. Now from this point mark 2 inch. 
then draw a slight curve here now at the bottom of the fabric just draw a straight line now mark 9 inch which is the bottom width then join these two points now i'm going to cut it separate the front and the back portion so this is how it looks now i'll show you how to stitch it for the armhole for both front and the back portion i have taken the bias tape so i'll finish the armhole using the bias tape so make a stitch here then for the back portion i have taken a two straight strips of width is 1.5 inch each then length is same as the bodice length i will place this at the right side of the fabric and i'll make a stitch then I will turn and make a stitch. Now place the bias tape at the right side of the fabric and make a stitch. This is the front portion. Then trim the excess bias tape. and also make small cuts at the armhole then fold the bias tape twice and make a stitch at the wrong side of the fabric This is one side of the armhole and for the other side also I am going to repeat the same. So repeat the same for the back portion as well. Now this is the back portion. I have finished both the armholes. Now I'll finish the center. So just place the strip at the right side of the fabric and make a stitch. Now make a top stitch. Similarly, finish the other part of the back portion as well. I have finished attaching. This is how it looks. Now I'll show you how to attach the zipper in it. So I have taken a zipper. This is an invisible zip. And I have uh, taken black color if you have the same color you can have it just place the borders on above of this zipper and make a close stitch make a stitch here
So before attaching the zipper, just change the pressure foot, that is zipper foot and you can stitch it. So I have finished attaching. This is how it looks. Now I have taken an interface of width 15 inch and length is 4 inch. Just fold it by half in length then by half in width. So from the folded side, mark 3 inch from the folded side and draw a slight curve. Measure your baby's neck measurement and divide it by 2. You have to take that measurement. Here I am taking 6.5 inch. So where I will get 6.5 inch, there I am going to mark it. Then from here mark 1 inch. Draw a slight curve and draw like this. Now I am going to cut it. So this is how it looks. We will get two colors, I mean two interface that I am going to place it in the fabric and I will iron it. After ironing that, I will trim the excess fabric. So this is how it looks. What I am going to do is just fold the fabric like this and make a stitch for both the collars. I mean for both the interface. I finished attaching. This is how it looks. Now I will turn this and place this over here. Now make a stitch here. I have finished attaching. Now make small cuts. Then turn this. So this is how it looks. Now fold this. Then mark the center. Now I have taken the front portion. So mark the center and from this point mark half inch and draw a slight curve then cut it. So mark the center and just match the center of the borders with the center of the collar and make a stitch here. After that, just pin the fabric. So make a stitch here. After that, I am placing the passion. Just take the collar, lift the collar and place it here. Then pin it.
Similarly, the other side also just lift this and place it here and pin the fabric. So while stitching it will be easier so that only we have to pin the fabric. So make a stretch here. Firstly, I am making a stretch at the front portion of the borders. I have finished attaching at one side. Now turn the fabric and make a stitch at the other side. So I have finished attaching. This is how it looks. Just place this back portion on the front portion here. Now attach both the sides. Make a stretch here. Now I have finished attaching both the sides. This is the bottom portion. This is the back portion. Now I am placing the front portion. Make a stitch here. So I finished attaching. This is how it looks. Now just fold the bottom twice and make a stitch for both front and the back portion. Fold the bottom twice and make a stitch at the inner edge. So similarly finish the other side also. You can see I have finished attaching the crotch area and also the bottom. Now place the fabric exactly like this. Now make a stitch here. After attaching this I have taken the borders. This is the right side of the bodice and this is the wrong side of the bottom. Just place the right side inside of the bottom and match the center of the bodice with the center of the crotch area for both front and the back portion. Then make a stitch here. Firstly, I'll attach the center of the bottom.
make a double stitch here I have finished attaching now I'll attach the borders with the bottom I have finished attaching. This is how it looks. So now I have taken the bias tape. Just fold the edge twice and place it here at the center of the borders. Then make a stitch. So you can see this is the center I'm just this is the center I'm just placing the bias tape at the center and I'm making a stitch throughout the waist So now trim the excess fabric and fold the other end also twice and make a stitch. Now just turn this and fold it then make a stitch. I finished attaching. Now I am going to insert the rope in it. Now I am going to attach the tersels at both the ropes. So I finished attaching. It's so simple to make. This is how it looks. With this my stitching is complete i hope you like this video if you like it please like share subscribe and comment thanks for watching